Hi friends, so today I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing for my nutrition for about three weeks. Um, I have struggled with this my entire fitness journey and it's nothing surprising. Nutrition is always very difficult and I think I'm just going to talk about just the short things that um, I have learned about myself and um, what I'm going to be doing that's going to be different these weeks and what I have been doing in the past. So in the past, I have always tried to do a million recipes, all the recipes that are under the sun, when in reality, it's already difficult enough to be exercising and to be eating right. On top of that, trying to find all these recipes and trying to do all these healthy recipes was just too much. And um, also I was buying just a bunch of different groceries and it just didn't work for me in my lifestyle. So I decided to keep it as simple as I could. And eventually when I got down how much I'm supposed to be eating, the portions, then I could switch over to using different recipes, then try to explore with different recipes, right? But first I need to get down the basics. So um, I just decided to keep it simple, keep it sweet. That way you can actually follow through with nutrition and also um, I'm going to keep it kind of on the repetitive side although we are technically not supposed to be eating the same foods for long periods of time it is going as I mentioned just going to get me down with the basics of when I should be eating how large and what kind of um, portion sizes I should be eating for each category of food and so on so this is what I'm going to be doing and it's all an experiment, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first things first, it's nothing new and it's nothing that you can't already learn on YouTube is how much of each category of food you should be eating. So if you can search this on YouTube, as I mentioned, it's nothing new. I did not invent it. You can even print out a free PDF, I'm pretty sure, on Google. But it goes like this. So protein should be the size of um, your palm. So you should be eating a portion, a uh, protein size of your palm. And this helps with you kind of eyeballing how much should be on your plate. Um, as for me, I kind of, <laughs> I, why do I make things so complicated? I say, well, how much is palm size? Is it legit just like flat? Um, am I supposed to, you know, is there kind of like a curve, <laughs> right? Um, so I kind of did my research and it's about four ounces for me. So what, I, what is going to help me is I already had this, but you can get a simple one at Walmart. I have purchased this one, I believe at Walmart. And you basically just turn it on, you set on there a measuring cup or a um, just anything to place your protein in and as you place it on there you zero it out and you start putting in your protein of choice I'm doing chicken um, it's cheap it's the easiest thing to make for me at this time and you just do four ounces and that's how you know how much is supposed to be on your plate okay so next category it's vegetables so for vegetables, you'd be surprised at how much vegetables we are supposed to be eating. Um, I kind of thought it was just, you know, a little bit on the side, but you'd realize quickly that the greens that are supposed to be on your plate actually are quite larger than the protein size that you need on your plate. So what I am doing, just to keep it short and simple, right, you guys, later once I got the once I get the basics and the habit down, then I'll switch over to recipes. Um, I have picked up just these California style veggies from King Supers, um, and that's Kroger. If you do not have King Supers, it's like a Dillon's. It's kind of like a um, high V. And basically, you just pop these in the microwave. That's what I'm going to be doing. So the amount of vegetables that you need is um, a fist size. So it's pertaining to your hand, right? Your body. So my size of hand might be smaller, might be larger than yours. So you go off of your own body. Now, again, 
I'm like, so how much is that? You know, I need two of these. Uh, you know, how much is that? I have, you know, eyeballed it. I have done this. And it's about a cup. And so what I'm using is I'm just wow. using this simple cup. And I am just setting my veggies inside of this cup and then just putting them on my plate. Now, also what I'm going to be using is going to be uh, peppers. So I'm going to have two different kinds of veggies in my fridge ready to go. Now the California frozen ones, obviously they are just going to be frozen so I can just open the bag um, and scoop two uh, cups of it into my plate and you know that's it the other kind of veggies that I use are my favorite kinds of veggies so I already had bought in these California style veggies I will say you guys that they're not the most tasteful especially if you don't like vegetables or you're barely introducing vegetables it could feel really um just strict so I will say that it's cheaper, but it might be more difficult to actually eat this than the vegetables that I'm doing now, but the vegetables with the peppers and the squash is more expensive. So, I mean, it's kind of give and take. What do you want to do? Do you want simple, quick, but might be a little more difficult to eat? Or do you want to spend a little more money, grab your favorite veggies, and you know that you'll enjoy your meal more? It's all preference. I'm deciding to split it in, the, in half. I'm trying to do, um, for my breakfast, I'm going to be doing my um, favorite vegetables. And then for the rest of the days when I know I'm, for the rest of the day when I know I'm super busy, I'm going to be using this California veggies because I'm trying to use what I have. We're also on a budget, so I don't want to let this food go to waste. So my favorite veggies are peppers. I love peppers. So I have already meal prepped some peppers into a large pan. I just simply, you know, put it with foil. I sprayed it with olive oil. I put the peppers and the squash on there, sprayed it with some more olive oil, put some seasoning on it, just some simple sea salt and some peppers. You can use any type of seasoning you like. I have not experimented enough with seasonings to know which what I like better. So I just kept it simple. Again, I just need to learn the basics first. And then I just, you know, preheated my oven to 375 and I just pop them in there and I will check continuously to see when they are ready. I like mine a little more on the crunchy burnt side, but it's all to preference. So you can do 25 minutes, you can do 30, 45 minutes. It all really depends on your preference when it comes to veggies. Now, um, the next thing is a carb source. So veggies do have carbs. I have asked my coach about this because I was confused. So I said, so veggies are carbs. So it says we're supposed to eat veggies and carbs are separate for some reason. And she says, well, non-starchy vegetables are what are categorized as veggies. And starchy vegetables are what are called, what are under the category of carbs, but they both are technically carbs. But when you see it on a sheet of some sort, that is what they are talking about. So, my carb of choice is going to be white rice. And you might say, Kat, that's a little boring. You guys, as I mentioned, I just need something simple. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, I personally, from my own experience, that is what has failed me in the past, is me trying to try all these new recipes when I could have just kept it simple, got the routine down, and then explored. So, um, how I do white rice in the, in the past, was I would just pick up this simple Uncle Ben's ready rice and I would just pop that into the into the microwave. Well, when I went to King Supers and I got, which is Kroger, and I got these California veggies, I was going to get some more packs of these and found that it was way more cheaper just to get this minute rice. And this minute rice, you can also just put into the fridge, into the fridge, into the microwave and uh, you just put water in it and it's ready to go. So I decided I can get way more out of my budget and my in my grocery budget by just purchasing this. And this was about um, with, you know, your discount, your phone number or your card for Kroger, uh, about $6, it was about 530, but I'm rounding up. So I'm going to be using that. So for carbs, how much carbs are you supposed to have? 
if you're eyeballing. They mentioned that it's supposed to be kind of your hand cupped. That is also something that I do not, you know, I say, well, how much is that? So what I learned is that is about, and here we go, that is about half a cup. So you guys, I just washed all my things. So I just washed my dishes, so I don't have it with me. Let me see if I could find it real quick. So, oh, it might be over here. Give me just a moment. Okay, found it. So it is going to be about half a cup. And for me, as you see, it might be even less than that. So it might be actually a fourth cup for my hand size. That fits more the cupped version. So that is about as much carbs as we're supposed to be eating. And that is way easy, you guys, to just pop some of this into here, put it on my uh, in my bowl, and then put it in the microwave. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So that's why I like these. I would suggest just putting these measuring cups in with your prep so you already know how much you need. So you could even print out um, the sheet that you're using on a, and put it on a cabinet or what I have done in the past but I have ran out of labels, just label here how much you know servings you need of each. So you could put here on a label vegetables, you know, because this is for your vegetable size and that you need two, and you just put a little two. You can put right here, carbs, and you can put that you only need one or you need two, depending on your goals. So that is that. Now, what I was going to do next, oh, show you guys, is my source of protein. So I'm just keeping it simple and also keeping it cheap. So I'm just using chicken breasts. I can get at Sands about eight large chicken breasts for eight to 10, sometimes depending um, on the pounds, about for about $12, $13. Depending how big the chicken breasts are, sometimes it could be from thirteen, from $12. Actually, I've seen some even to 11. Again, depending on how big the chicken breasts are, from 11 to 15. So you can say the smaller chicken breasts are going to be at 11, closer to 11, $12. The larger chicken breasts are going to be at 15, but you get 8 to 10 pieces. So what I have been doing and what has been working for me is I have always struggled with cooking chicken. Um, and finally, after my friend um, Shannon has, you know, cooked chicken without you know, a question, and I have done my research, I and I have a slow cooker, um, I decided to slow cook chicken overnight, and it has worked for me. So what I am doing is I have, and this is already prepped from um, this last time I went to go buy chicken, is I have two chicken breasts here, and what I do is I just place them in my slow cooker with a little bit of water, and I add some hot sauce. So, I get this, and we are have already ate through here, but as you can see, um, we got pulled chicken there. So, it's all set to go, you just have to reheat it up in the microwave. So, that is how I'm doing my protein. I'm just doing it overnight. I, I just let it in there on low for about, and I could probably do less hours, but usually eight hours, and it's done really done so this works perfect it's already set to go all i need to as i mentioned it was before is just put it on the scale and then i see how much i have been eating and you might say well that's maybe a little boring or you know i'm not sure if i can eat chicken all the time again i need to establish the habits first the portion sizes um before i go exploring more with other recipes so that is how i am going to be eating I am also going to show you guys um, how much I'm supposed to be eating and and what um, and what kind of meals I'm going to be eating. So I'm going to show you guys that right now, and we'll just go from there. Okay, friends. So of course it is rainy, rainy, rainy here, but I wanted to also add here um, what my ideal. I guess situation would look like 
This is ideal, obviously. It probably is not. Okay, I'm not even going to be negative like that. I am going to do my best to follow this. But basically, I am trying to reach this goal weight. I have stayed, and I'm sure this is probably the same for you guys. I have stayed at the same weight for a long, long period of time. Um, but my goal has always been to be closer to this goal weight. So right now, I'm about... 10 pounds away um and i'm just disc disclosing this this doesn't really bother me um so this is ideally the calorie intake i should do and this is basically being on a caloric deficit is the fancy word they use so it just basically means eating less calories eating less food a day um we're not supposed to be on this kind of diet the entire time but it is supposed to help lower weight or you know get us to our weight loss goal and then from there we switch over to more of a maintenance type of um, calorie intake so anyways this is going to be my meal plan so I'm going to do eggs I'm going to do the peppers that I have um, meal prepped and then I also am showing that I'm using olive oil to cook my eggs and all this in because we do need to be tracking that as well. Is it that, you know, serious? I don't know, but I'm still putting it down just in case, right? Um, also, there's fat goals that I need to meet, so I need to make sure that I'm putting everything here. Well, anyways, I purchased this off of Etsy and it works perfectly for me because it's showing basically how many servings I'm having of everything how many calories it is, the carbs, the sugar, the protein, and the fat. So it's all there right here. And then also the calories. I have done this in a different color. That way I can just quickly grab these numbers and then get my total. So for lunch and for dinner, I'm having the same thing. Again, I'm just keeping it simple. That way I can be more successful at it. So I'm just having my pulled chicken, mixed veggies, and my rice with some sriracha on it. I did not track the sriracha in here. Maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't know. For right now, I'm going to keep it like that. So it's going to be kind of more if, of a, I would say kind of like a Panda Express-ish <laughs> type of meal. So um, that gets me to, you know, these numbers here. And then for a snack, you guys, I am doing some pulled chicken, one corn tortilla, and some mozzarella cheese, so kind of one taco. And that'll get me to these numbers. So something that I forgot to mention is that water intake is very, very, very important. It's something I struggle with. My goal is one gallon a day. It's very difficult, you guys, especially if you are new to drinking water and you haven't drinking enough water to get to that goal but that is the goal that is kind of the ideal so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to say at least minimum half a gallon of water so these are my totals here and as you see I'm just right 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 below this amount um, really realistically with the sriracha and maybe, you know, I might add a little more chicken here and there. I might not be so precise on things because I'm not sure if I could really be precise if I'm not measuring everything with the scale. All I'm measuring with the scale is my, um, protein and the rest I'm kind of just using as what I showed you the method I'm going to be using is just kind of eyeballing it and using my measuring cups. So this is going to fluctuate up or down a little bit, but it's okay. We're close enough and that's okay for me. So, how did I get to how, how much I need to eat, you know, and this? Um, go ahead and download my fitness app, and there you can put your goals, your goal weight, and it will show you how much calories you're supposed to be eating. And also, you guys, um, it's a great way to track your food. So, what I did is I went, I downloaded the app, I said what my goals was, they gave me the calories I'm supposed to eat and you go ahead and submit, you know, the meals that you're, you are eating. And as you click into each item, it will give you these numbers. When you, if you are just practicing and you just want to try it out before you do all of this, download my fitness app 
and then just submit just out of curiosity submit the amounts of food or the things you are eating and it'll show you hey you're eating above the carbs that you're supposed to be eating hey this is higher you're eating over the fat amount that you're supposed to be eating it will show you you know where you can adjust and it's very interesting so this is how i came out with this meal plan is i did my goal on my fitness app saw how much calories i was supposed to be eating i was i'm supposed to be eating i put down the foods that i'm planning to eat and it showed me basically how much i'm supposed to be eating of each for example i thought maybe i can eat two tacos it said no you're going over your carbs and also um going over the processed amount that you're supposed to be eating when it comes to processed food so i decided to just use one and it said okay that fits so it's a great tool to use so with that being said also you guys i have set up a goal board and um, I'm going to have my bike in here. I'm going to be using also CrossFit as my exercise. I live, I work at home, so I'm sitting all the time. So usually in the mornings, that's the only active part of my day. So I'm adding cardio in just to help me maybe move along when it comes to this um, health journey. Um, also, I do not like running. I have tried running, um, but this is what it's going to look like for me. I'm going to choose this bike as my cardio instead of running. We'll see how it goes. Well, anyways, you guys, I hope that, you know, you guys enjoy the video. This is what my channel is going to be, what I'm going to be implementing into my channel is just this accountability for my nutrition and also, um, my workouts. So, Let's just do it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.